We're back at the canal cave and the canal tunnel. Here is the canal tunnel. So this tunnel goes all the way under here. Do you guys see that right there? I'm gonna try and set the trap right over here somewhere. And we're gonna hang our trap right here on the rebar. Oh, oh I see it. What is I it? I see it. All right, guys, we're back at the canal cave and the canal tunnel. We've been here a couple of times for a bunch of different videos. And we've got Hannah here today. Hannah's here helping me out. And we are going to be searching the canal cave and the canal tunnel today and also setting a fish trap. Hannah's got the fish trap in hand, ready to go, because there's a lot of different really nice aquarium fish here. All different tropical species that we have here in South Florida. It's baby season. Here it is. Here is the canal tunnel. Once there was a python in here, and then that's the cave. So this tunnel goes all the way under here and it's been eroded by the iguanas. I'm not even sure if you can like see in here, but this tunnel goes all the way back there. We're gonna check it to see. Oh, oh, there's something. Oh, no, Hannah, it smells rotten in there. Really? Yeah, come here. It smells really like, like something oh could be. Gosh, it's so it, it's really, it smells, do you smell that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. it smells it's, horrible. Okay, Hannah, I just wanna get down here to smell in here because, wait, oh my God. It's, I don't, I was gonna go in here. It goes this way too. What? It goes that way. It goes all the way that way, but there's Jesus. definitely. Oh, oh, I see it. What is I it? I see it. Look, yeah. there's an iguana in there that did not make it. A dead iguana is inside of the cave. Wait, I can't see. I don't know if you see him. He's like right there. Oh my gosh. Wait, guys, do you see that right there? I don't know if there's a python in here today, but there's most definitely an iguana in here. You can see that's his tail right there. And this cave is absolutely insane. And it also goes back this way. It's like a, another tunnel that goes back. I don't even know how deep. There could definitely be something inside of there. I'm not sure if we're gonna check it out today. I'm not going in there right now. It is just way, way too nasty. Isn't that right? Uh, it's disgusting. It's really disgusting. disgusting. But what I'm more concerned about is our fish trap. And right over here, look, 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 look. Right over here we have, look, there's snail larva, Hannah. I think from invasive snails, yeah, or apple snails. You guys see that right there? Where is it? You see that pink stuff? Where? Right there, you see it? All right, I'm gonna have to make my way down here. Look, all of this invasive snail larva. So you can see right here, this is all, I believe invasive, oh, I just touched it, that's nasty. We got invasive snails everywhere. I mean, there's literally hundreds, if not thousands of these eggs. And look, there's a snail shell right here, look. Oh, there's, a, there's another one, there's two, but this, this snail right here, this is where those larvas are from. I believe these are just big old oh, apple snails. Yeah. What was that? There's something under the rock. What? Something just moved. So I saw it. Go oh, look. It's little fish. Really? Yeah, there's little fish here. Even the snail larva, like I was wait, saying, is on the... Wait, where, 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 where? It just came from where? rock and it bolted. Really? Yeah, you can't see it anymore. Do, do you think we can catch him in the trap? Will he fit? Yeah. Look, 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 look. Yeah, 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 I see him right there. Look, there he is right there. It's hard to see. Again, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's definitely a ton of fish in here, and we've got to set their traps. Mighty cichlid, there's a bunch of them right here. Look, look at the orange cichlids. I definitely want to try and catch those. That's insane. Look at that. That is so cool. Look at them. So I'm up on top of the tunnel right now, and if you look in, you can see just how far this tunnel goes. Now this is kind of like black water. You can't really see anything in it. And I've got my trap, but I think I'm gonna try and set the trap right over here somewhere, right on the bank. So not only am I going to be setting this trap for invasive species as well as native species inside of here, but really we're just targeting the invasive fish that are in this canal. We could be dealing with snakeheads, peacock bass, koi fish, who knows what is living inside of this canal and also the hidden canal tunnel. Now along with this trap, while the trap is being set, we're gonna search around for other invasives. So to get this trap set, we're just gonna pull it on up like that and look at that, we've got an insane fish trap. Now basically, we're gonna put our bait here in the center and the fish are going to be able to swim from six different sides all the way around. So it's gonna be really easy for them to, to actually get inside of the trap. So for our bait today, we have some leftover fish flakes as well as turtle food. So if you come right here, you're gonna be able to see all of our fish flakes and turtle food, which is gonna be the perfect bait for these fish. So we're gonna take our fish food here and we're just gonna kind of sprinkle it on in and all of our pellets just like that. We're gonna get as much of it in as we can right down look 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 there's a bunch of fish there's a pe there's, you see that? there's there's cichlids there's all kinds of baby bass in here so let me get on down right now just like this i think that this is going to be like the safest spot to put it right 
over here. And we're gonna hang our trap right here on the rebar, right on the bottom, and just like that, if you look at this, this is gonna be absolutely perfect. The trap can't go anywhere because it's stuck on the rebar and we're gonna be able to get a bird's eye view. There's already little fish around the trap. We're gonna get a bird's eye view and see what goes inside. Right oh my gosh, there's a giant carp right there. There's a giant carp, a giant carp. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but he just went away. He definitely is smelling our bait. That's crazy. Me and Hannah definitely wanna take a step back because we don't wanna spook whatever is coming up here. That is so crazy to think that in just about a couple seconds, we already had giant fish coming up. So Hannah and I decided to come up to the top hidden tunnel to get a bird's eye view of the trap and not disturb any fish. So the trap is right over there. And while we were here, you guys are not gonna believe what we discovered. I think we found one of the worst invasive species on the entire planet, which is giant African land snails. <laughs> yeah, Look at these. Look at these things. These are the these are the big. biggest snails. Look, it's like the size of my oh. finger. They're literally everywhere here. I mean, look at that. There's an entire cluster of these giant snails. Look at this right here. To mate right I, now? I don't know. Honestly, I'm not well versed in snails. I don't know a whole Oh look, there's more on the wall oh there. They're literally every look, he's almost made it to the top of the wall. Look. This is insane. I haven't really seen any snails in South Florida for a while. Thought most of them were honestly kind of like going extinct. Now, if these snails right here are indeed African giant snails, well, I'm not sure if I want to touch them. I remember that I heard something about them being toxic, but again, I'm not well versed on snails. I have no idea if they are African giant snails, but by the looks of them, I mean, look at this. This is, I don't even know how to put it in comparison. Look at it next to my hand right here. Look, it is a ginormous snail. So I'm gonna run to the car. I'm gonna put a glove on because again, I don't wanna handle these guys. So let's go get our gloves and see if we can catch them. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, so I got my glove on right now. I got a bin out of the truck and I'm gonna see if we can collect some of these. So I think we're gonna start with this guy right here. Might be really bright, but we're just gonna pull them on off just like that. Look at this. Again, I'm not sure. I'm gonna look up the native snails here in Florida, but this might be a banded tree snail. So we got our first snail right here in the bin. And I'm gonna try to grab some more. I think this is the biggest one yet. Look at it. Oh wait, wait look, look, look at his little tentacles come out. Look at that. That is crazy. I've never seen a bigger snail in my life. That is insane. Wait, wait, wait for his other tentacle to come out. Look at that. This is like an alien, a real life alien that we found here at the canal. This is so, so cool. Look at that. So I'm gonna move this little guy right here to the bin. And look, we're gonna be as gentle as we can possibly be with these crazy snails. But again, guys, comment down below right now. Are these, in fact, giant African snails? Now, this right here is what I'm looking for. Look at that. This looks like a giant breeding ball of snails. There's three snails all attached on here with the largest one on the bottom. Look at that. We're going to put these guys right here in the bin. We're going to grab this other one right off the wall. He just slid right off. Now, this guy looks like he was definitely attacked by something. His shell is a little bit chipped away. And we got an escapee trying to escape here. But Look at this, this is so cool. So when you come right here to their tentacles, right here kind of by their eye, if you just like barely even just get next to it and you touch it, you can see that they retract in. So right now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 ginormous snails. But these could be in fact, giant African land snails. And the reason why they're so bad is they can carry a bunch of different diseases and they eat over 500 different plant species, which could be detrimental to Florida's ecosystem. So we are gonna keep these guys separate right now and make a phone call and report this to see if in fact these are the giant land snails or they're just banded tree snails, again, because they got the bands on the shell, but they do look similar to the regular African land snails. So this is so cool to find. So now that we caught our snails, let's go check our trap. I can't believe we found almost 15 of these potential invasive species. So I'm gonna keep these guys right here while I go retrieve our trap and see what we caught. I'm not seeing anything now, but we won't know till we pull it up. So and I've almost got our trap. One, two, three. Is there anything? Nothing at all. I don't see anything inside of our trap. Don't see anything at all. Look, if we just shake it off, get all the water off. All I see is pellets. Do you see anything inside of this trap, Hannah? Nope, not seeing I do anything. not see anything inside of this trap. 
We were unsuccessful with our fish trap, but I found the craziest snails in the world. I've never seen snails so big in my life. This is crazy. If you guys look at the charts on the screen, these are all the different native and invasive snails that we have. These guys don't really look like the giant African snails. Look at the head right there. Look at him. It's so crazy. These look more like Stock Island tree snails or Florida tree snails because they look all similar with the bands on their shells. I'm gonna leave it up to the snail experts to tell me what exactly these guys are, because again, I don't really know my snails too well. So that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, removing the potentially deadly invasive snails from invading the canal cave. Absolutely insane. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what kind of snails do you think that these guys are? And if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me, you wanna see more snails, you wanna see more canal adventures, you wanna see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post 